Okay, this week on RuPaul's Drag Race, which is called Screen Queens, I believe was the hashtag. A lot of the queens pushed the envelope, and Milk did the her whole drag king on the runway again, and she dressed like Pinocchio. Now, I think she might have gone home, given how much they don't like boy drag, but she was on the winning team, so she was safe, so... Unfortunately, Vivacious, who came out dressed like a Koopa Troopa from Super Mario Brothers, and actually was spiny, I did play those games, so I do know actually which character that was that she looked like. I liked the bold look, but the judges did not, and because Vivacious was on the losing team, which was the Doors team, the first episode team, it's kind of like Survivor, there's two tribes, and the first day, even though we liked them when we saw the episode, they seem to be very inexperienced. Vivacious and Mandela Cram were the only two on that entire team that were seasoned. Now, Vivacious did not put the effort in, in the main challenge, and I think it really cost her. And of course, the, the final look, the judges didn't really understand. I liked it, like I said, but the judges did not. And I had predicted early on in my cast review video that she probably would go home. And I think I even said that I thought her bold and creative looks would probably get her in trouble. Now, Bianca Del Rio, who last week was my favorite, she wasn't as funny this week. She was much more serious. But she was more like a, a teaching figure in this episode. And I noticed a lot of people were saying that Bianca... Now, I'm just getting this from Twitter because apparently YouTube reviewers have given up on reviewing because a lot of my favorite YouTube reviewers have not been doing reviews the past two weeks, so they've been very late. So, even though I felt like I've been late, I've actually been getting out the door and onto YouTube a lot quicker than they have. So, there's several voices that I haven't heard yet. But on Twitter... And the few reviews that I have seen, a lot of people seem to think that Bianca's really mean, and she was really mean in this episode, it's particularly towards Trinity. I think she was just being honest, and she was literally trying to help Trinity. They were clashing in the workroom. It's kind of like a Fifi Sharon situation, a Coco Alyssa situation, maybe a Shangel and a Raja situation, because Raja was a seasoned queen, and... You know, Shangela was the young, up-and-coming newbie, and they had been friends before they were on the show, but then they were clashing on the show. And I kind of think that that's what's going to be going on here. Bianca is more seasoned. She's old enough to know that life just happens, and a lot of times you have to have a time frame for your goals. Trinity, she's only been doing drag for a few years, and she's very young, very idealistic, she wants to have her own review show in Las Vegas. She wants to look like Beyonce. She wants to be a Beyonce impersonator. And Bianca just is not having this. She does not believe that Trinity looks like Beyonce. She says, you know, the Britney Spears are, you know, impersonators. They actually look like Britney Spears, which is not something that Trinity has going for her. Now, I like both Trinity and Bianca, and I can see both their points. I think it's good to have goals and dreams. So, if Trinity wants to have this dream, I think she should go for it. But she should know that it's not going to be a one-year thing. Like, she's not going to get off a of drag race. And she's not going to go immediately to Las Vegas and have her own show. It's just not going to happen. But, it's going to take time. It might be, like Bianca said, 10, 15 years down the road before she gets it, but eventually she can have that. If she does, and, and she could probably even look like Beyonce if she's willing to put in a little bit of effort and a little bit of money investment to do, you know, not saying that Trinity is ugly or anything, because I think Trinity is beautiful, but to put in a little bit of work and get a few things done to look more like Beyonce. There's one YouTube reviewer, well, there's two of them that do it. They do it as a group. I'm not going to say who they are, but they were pretty mean. 
last week when they were talking about Trinity. They were talking about her teeth and all like that in a few few of the scenes, but then once she gets to the runway and on untucked, her teeth are perfectly straight. I also saw her audition video and her teeth are perfectly straight. They're beautiful. She's smiling. It's amazing. And I know, the, I'm pretty sure I know the reason why. I think she has Snap-on Smile, which is a cosmetic procedure. It's very, it's a lot cheaper than getting veneers. It's not permanent. Like, you can literally, it's basically Snap-on dentures that you put over your teeth to make your teeth white, to make your teeth straight. And, you know, I think if that gives her confidence, go for it. Because on that runway, she has a lot of confidence. She looked beautiful on the runway. But, like, in the workroom and everything, she does not exude that confidence because she does not have the snap-on smile on. So I think if she has it on, go for it. You know, all the power to her. Now, Laganja Astranja was one of my favorites in this, this episode, and not so much because she had a, a storyline for this episode. It was her look on the runway. That look, that autumn look, with the giant headpiece, and I mean, it was just, it was absolutely beautiful. I loved it was one of the best looks, in my opinion, from this episode. But I think going forward, we're going to have to definitely look at Milk and see, are the judges really liking her look? Or are they going to end up clocking her for looking too boyish because she continues to do drag king? And that's not what this is about. I think she'll probably get midway through the season... I'd said that I thought she was a dark horse to win the whole thing, but I don't think she will if she continues to do this. Not that I don't like the look, it's definitely very different and creative, and she's doing her own thing, and it's kind of like Sharon Needles, you know, and by extension Alaska, because Alaska did a lot of the same looks. But it looks like a unique look that you will always remember Milk. So if Milk wants to do Drag King as a man, then I think she should do it. That was really weird. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at my front door, and a piece of paper goes flying through the front door. Someone's sticking an advertisement through my door. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about this episode. I'm not going to go through and critique each of the looks because I've already said the looks that I really liked. And, you know, the actual Screen Queen videos that they did, I didn't really like either one, to be honest. Courtney Act and Bianca Del Rio, they actually were the best. They had the best performance. So I'm thinking that might be a precursor to the finale. I really think that those two will end up in the finale. I really hope Courtney Act ends up in the finale. The little bit with Adora Delano meeting Courtney Act was pretty funny because you could tell like Adora's like this young, ooh, bubbly queen. She's so excited to finally meet an Australian Idol. So she did know that Courtney was on Australian Idol. I'd asked in my last video, I wonder if she knows that, but yes, she does actually know that. And Courtney goes, were you on season one of American Idol? <laughs> that was hilarious. Which, if you know anything about American Idol, you know that Danny Noriega was probably like three years old when that first season took place. So, he didn't appear on the show. I think it was like season eight. So, <laughs> of course he wasn't on season one. But, you know... I think going forward, like I said, we're going to have to definitely take a look at Milk and reevaluate if we really want the look that she's presenting in the finale. I mean, I thought she was a, a, a dark horse for the end, but I'm beginning to question that now. I'm very, 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 very glad that they did not show or edit Jocelyn to be so ditzy and so <laughs> that little laugh. I'm glad they cut that laugh out. Really glad. But until next week, I will see you guys later.